my second After Effects uh, video tutorial translation. Good name. Um, today we'll create this. Your text appearing, going slowly further and shattered by an explosion. Pretty nice effect. So, okay. Uh, for this effect, we'll need some downloads. I'll put the links in the video description so you can download all of them now or download them if they are necessary. I mentioned it in the tutorial. So I'll close Media Player here and open After Effects. Um, you'll notice again that my interface is German, which is actually no big deal. You can find all the names uh, all the effects in your English interface which is completely similar just with other names. Um, I'll try to translate it on the fly and I found an interesting website where there's a list of common after effects effect names and their translations so I'll post this in the video description as well. So we'll create a new composition call it explosion intro choose the size. Um, I'll choose Full HD here because my computer is actually pretty fast and uh, Full HD is always the best option. But if your computer is a bit slower or you just don't need Full HD, maybe 720p is completely enough, you can choose it here. This would be the PAL version with 25 frames per second and this the NTSC version with around about 30 frames per second. Okay, then we'll adjust the length to 10 seconds, which is applied here, and click OK. So, there we go. If it looks black to you, then you have this transparency switch turned off. So, if you turn it off, it will be black, and if you turn it on, you will see there is nothing, it's all transparent. So, at first, we'll need to add a background layer. So we'll go to layer new solid, call it background and apply it. Next effects generate this one, I think ramp is the correct translation. Um, click it, change this to radial, so let's get a circle. Um, change the beginning color to really dark dark red and the end color just to black okay next um, carefully take this cross here and move it bow to the middle just be patient that you're not moving the layer if you're moving the layer just press control Z or this and this um, to, to undo it. So we'll again select it and the effect and then we'll choose this cross and drag it to the side to get this this right red circle. So okay if your red is too red you can always go back and change it to a darker red here. Okay, this looks nice. So, next step, we will add text. So, we'll choose the uh, text tool and click into our comp and I'll type my text, Fringsify. Maybe you can, you can choose it and just size and font, whatever. Um, and then you can select this tool, selection tool, to position it right, maybe upscale it. Okay. So, there we go. The color of the text is um, not important because as a color we will use a texture. And we will use this texture, I have it right here. It's called Metal Scratched Heavy. I've put a download link in the description, so please download it. It's um, yeah, scratched metal down there. It's a little copyright text, but later in the project we will not see this. So 
please download it and import it to After Effects just by taking it and dragging it in. So there it is into our project window there. So next step we will choose it and drag it onto our composition. Uh, depending on which uh, composition size you've chosen, um, maybe it's too big or too small, in my case it's too small, so just scale it so it covers the whole text. Next we will down there take the text and drag it over our metal texture. My text is grey so uh, it's hard to see but it's over the metal texture. Uh, next we'll need this option, track mat is the English translation. If you don't see this, press F4 once. So I hide it, so I press it again to make it visible. And choose following option, alpha mat and your text. What this does, uh, that your, your text disappears, but your metal texture gets your text shape. So this looks pretty good. Next, um, we need to choose both layers, so press shift and click on both. Then right click and create a new subcomposition. I don't know the translation, just translate it, uh, tr translate it, just create it. Call it text comp. Choose this option to move all attributes to the new composition and press OK. So what we've done here, we've created a new composition inside our composition and we can apply effects etc to it like it was one layer. So we will use this option and add a new effect, effect, color correction, uh, curves, um, choose the RGB channel and give it a small S shape to make the, the contrast more visible to add a bit contrast then to red and give it just a slight slightly red touch to blue a bit uh, really a bit down so it looks more ambient and not so sterile so uh, there we go, there's our text the next effect we will apply will go to effects, uh, perspective, um, and this option I think bevel alpha or something. Click it, apply it. Um, add the light strength to one and the angle to zero so the light comes directly from above and this option you can choose how you how you want it it gives just a bit three dimensional three dimensions to your text so i think maybe a bit less looks good so there it is you want to animate our text so that it gets bigger and flies in front of you from this we will choose our text composition and press S to open, I don't know what's the English name, something with scale, um, and go to where we want to have the text appeared, maybe two seconds, and have to scale it 100, set a keyframe here, and go back to maybe a second, and set the scale to zero. Zero. Second keyframe is set automatically, so there's our text appearing. So if you want to have the animation a bit faster, you can just drag the keyframes closer together, which reduces the time the text has to fly from one position to another, so it goes faster. I will pre-render this by pressing play or zero on the num block. Uh, too slow. Again. Well, okay. 
So next, um, we want uh, the text to move a bit uh, when when uh, after this, just to give a bit motion to the scene. So we'll go to maybe six seconds and change scale to oh, maybe 115, round about that. And with this, you can you can see it when I pre-render it. It just continues moving and adds a bit movement to the scene. Okay, here we want our text to be scattered, shattered, whatever, by the explosion. So how do we do it? We will choose the last keyframe, click on it and place this marker exactly over it. Um, and then we will press uh, page down. The key you will have no use for at all, but uh, in After Effects you can um, use it to switch from frame to frame and get very exact movements. So we'll press it maybe three times um, and then we'll go here, uh, here uh, to, to uh, this option and this something like separate layer. Um, yeah, just uh, use it and press it. So now we have um, a second text comp and we'll create a new subcomposition for this by right clicking and create subcomposition and call it text comp shattered. Um, and then choose this to move all attributes into the new composition and OK. So then we'll double click on it and we'll see that there is absolutely nothing until six seconds and then it appears. So now we'll drag this solid part of the layer and drag it to the beginning to exactly, exactly zero seconds. Okay, so that's it. Then we'll go back to our other composition here and we'll see that our shattered text comp starts too early. So we'll take it and drag it back. Even if it looks as it's not important, it is important um, just to adjust the timing in the sub composition and the text composition because now we have one layer that's just the text here and again a layer this one we can let explode now 